Well, this is interesting. This has been a cool morning because we had the vet, the wonderful Judith, and Sarah vet come out and uh, to do the castration for Walter the rat. Uh-uh! He ain't no ram, people! After she got cut and through all the debris-ish types, hard as wool, puppy stuff. Turns out there were no balls in there. So, no quarantine... Oh, sorry, the fly in my face. No quarantine period. He gets to go and meet his buddy right now. So I'll be back. And just like that, Walter is in for the first time ever meeting other sheep. So he lived alone for two years. Two years, people. Two years. Lonely Heart Club. This guy over here. So we've been giving him as much... <laughs> Hi, guys. As much love and attention as we could, you know, in between doing everything else that we do here. So, and you could see it. His heart was breaking. And the longer he was alone here, the more he thought his life here was just going to be like the life he had there, but with extra human love. Look at him. I mean, this could turn any second, right? He could start headbutting because he still does that. And I've just realized. But, oh, yeah, he feels over that. It's okay. Hi, Lizzie and Ringo. Hello. Yeah, so we're about to feed everybody. So everyone's going to chow down together. This is so exciting. I was doing a countdown with Walter. You know, how many days until he gets to meet his friends. And then I was so pleased to say to him, today is that day. All right, guys. Hi. So happy. Walter, you're one of the clan. Here comes Farmer John with the feed. Look, we've got a Walter in here. Hey, babies. Hello, Lady Violet. You're so beautiful. Right, everybody? You okay? It's very hard to get the food in there without it. Just tipping it on a... Get back. I'm back. I, I'm back from being in trouble because I was filming and not helping. Lol. You're not a volunteer. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm a very helpful person. This is important to capture. Especially since Walter is in here eating with his friends for the first time. Look at him. I was a little bit worried, to be honest, that he was going to be maybe trying to headbutt the others. And perhaps I shouldn't speak too soon. Tilly, isn't she? She's got her food. What is she crying about? She's left her bucket. Rookie mistake, Tilly. Rookie error. Good morning, Miss Minnie. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, this is wonderful. And here comes Phil. Oh, here he comes. But you know what? I'm okay right now, I think, because there's food involved. Nope. I speak too soon? Nope. Okay. <laughs> right. Woo! The, I tell you, the heart races and I go into, you know, full protective mode. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, and there's Walter meeting Phil. That's interesting. These are the two who think they're rams, apparently. Turns out Phil, well, we knew, we knew Phil wasn't. We really did think Walter was because he's quite, you know, he does headbutt. But, um, and here I was explaining that when I was walking down with him that there was something there that we thought were testicles. But I did think it was a bit sus on how they felt. They felt a bit hard. Is this too much information? I don't know. Anyway, turns out, as, as I said, no balls equals happy lad equals now he has friends. Oh, there's the little tussle, little push from the other boy with horns. This is wonderful. Ah, oh, there are days that you just, you're just so happy and this is one of them. Here you go. Well, that's pretty cool. She actually moved herself over and popped herself right underneath where the water's coming out. That is so adorable. It's always such an interesting time when we have new animals arriving. You know, we don't know them, they don't know us. and You know, so far, I'd like to think yeah, say Wilbur's really friendly and I think Rosie and I, um, and John, of course, we're going to be good friends. She just needs time to know that we are, you know, we're a good place, we're a good fit for her. 
and um, yeah, and she stayed forever, which is something not, that can't be said about a lot of pigs. So yeah. Anyway, this is really cute. Bye. This is really cool. Love this time of the morning. I've missed it a, a little bit. I took some photos before, but the sun, just as that sun rises up on the earth, it's really beautiful. But yeah, hanging out with these guys, watching the sunrise. Oh my gosh, King Giz, what are you doing? This is Rufus. We've got Tucker Perry, Kid Leroy. Hello, kid. These guys are so friendly. They love, they really do actually seem to enjoy having our company in here. Good morning, Theo. No. I think that one's Spacey Jane. Little Zigman. Hey guys. And young Franco. Young Franco has um, seemingly he's, he, uh, grown some confidence. He's out and about a lot more now. Got Chet Faker doing a little shimmy dance. This is our beautiful Uncle Archie. Hi, Uncle Archie. Hi, Uncle Archie. He's so curious. He just... Like he, he won't sit on you like um, the Kid Leroy or like Rufus does, but <coughs> you can, hello King Sting. You can tell he just feels safer around you, so he's often just sitting next to you somewhere or going around you. Hey Chat. Hey Budgie. Hey Budra. Hello Budge boy. Nice one, Ziggy. Yes, they're very cute. We've got Baker boy here. Oh, lime cordial. Someone's got your comb. Ouchies. <coughs> Theo. Yeah, I think I've... Yeah. <coughs> the rest of them are over there hanging out with the other boys. Let's take you over there. Hang on. Oh, wow. That sun rose so quickly. <coughs> Certainly easy to lose time in here. Oh, my gosh. Guys, knock it off. It is the usual morning shimmy shimmy. We've got Tommy and Paolo down here. Anu Faraji and Ocean Alley. Hi, Ocean. Hey, boys. And these guys are forever curious, aren't you? Hi. Hi, Randall. Hi, Kevin. It's funny. Um, we moved. <coughs> Thank you. We moved J1 out of this area because they were just chasing him all the time. Pretty sure his life was quite unhappy. So he's in the main run now. Hello. <coughs> hey, Clubber. Good morning, Paulie. It's a lot of names. It's a lot of names. Um, but yeah, anyway, he's seems happier. Happier. He's still very nervous in the other area, but he's got a lot more run, room to run. Um, yeah, I think he'll be pretty happy, actually. Uh, my brain's not working. Still half asleep. 